gosh. <laughs> it's like so much better than at home. What's up, P-Nation? Today we are taking you back in time to our trip to Thailand, the beginning of 2019. We started in Bangkok, went to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and back to Bangkok. While we were there, we had so many delicious things. Things we had never tried before, things we had never seen before, things we knew about that we knew were going to be delicious, and we were not disappointed. So today we're taking you back to our five favorite Thai dishes that you need to try when you visit this amazing country. try item is easily found in the country of smiles, mango sticky rice. It is a classic dessert of sweet creamy coconut rice topped with a refreshing ripe mango and more coconut cream on top. It is pure decadence and thankfully you can find this sweet treat at any street market. Oh, it's just so good. The rice is super al dente, the crunch. You guys that live in Thailand, you already know about this. It doesn't come with crunchies on the top, it's not real. The mango is super ripe, so it's super sweet. And then the sauce on top just makes everything stick together. It's amazing. Something we just couldn't leave off the list is Thai tea. This bright orange tea with intense vanilla flavor, you'll need to find this drink on those super hot summer days in the city. Thai tea, 40 baht, sweet, delicious, tea, milky goodness. You can get it in America, but like... Probably the best I've ever had. Oh. Because I'm exhausted and I'm hot. She's hot. So I realize we're starting off pretty heavy here with desserts, but Zach and I love desserts, as you guys know. So let's go on to number two. Coconut ice cream! Another treat to cool you off. It is so much fun finding coconut ice cream vendors on the street, and most of the time it's served in a really cute coconut husk. Very coconutty, but we love coconut. I can just all day, oh my god. Ugh. I'm so hot, this feels so good. Now moving on to something a little more serious. Coming in at number three, Pla Pao. Okay, so I think Leah's gonna do it. I think she's gonna try this grilled fish called Pla Pao. First bite, so these very kind people have informed us that we are, we just bought a tilapia, a whole tilapia that it's, it's grilled and covered in salt. So he just put some probably very spicy sauce on it. I'm not even gonna lie, that green sauce kinda tastes like green sauce, like insect smells. Like really Tex-Mexy flavor. I don't know how that's possible. I think I'm just really excited. That is so good. Look how tender this fish is. Oh my gosh. What is especially crazy is that this whole fish only cost us 80 baht. That's like two and a half dollars. In Thai language, you can order this as pla pao, and that translates to fish barbecued in salt. And the salt really gets into the meat and it like flavors it perfectly. Okay, so next on our list, papaya salad. Okay, for all of you hip people out there who know about papaya salad, it's also called Song Tan. And we just had a very lovely lady make us some. And we asked for no spice because Song Tan gets really spicy really quickly. Here we go. Papaya salad is so good because it's like a myriad of flavors. You've got sweet, you've got salt, you've got a little spice, you've got like a fishy flavor from some dried shrimp, and nuts, peanuts. Peanuts are the best part of this. So we bought some, what we thought was like red sticky rice. It might not be sticky rice because it's like falling apart in my hands, but they said to dip the rice in the papaya salad and then eat it. So I'm just gonna like drop it in. All the flavor is in the juice in the bottom, and the rice just soaks it up. I don't know. Okay. Ready? Whew, I'm 
actually really nervous. Okay. Mm. <laughs> a little crunchy. It has like a nutty flavor. But I think I'm gonna need the water. <laughs> So although maggots and crickets are not my favorite food, that was actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Thanks to the lemongrass, I think she cooked them in. Now on to our favorite dish, not just in Thailand, but probably in the entire world, khao soy. So I'm so excited, because khao soy is like one of the three reasons we came to Shanghai. It's like a Northern Thailand specialty. I get it every time, I see it on the menu, which is not very often back home. And it's just like everywhere. Khao soy is pretty much like this coconut curry based soup with egg noodles. And it usually has egg noodles that are already prepared and then like a bird's nest on top. It's got chicken and it's really really good. It's kind of sweet. And then it comes with like pickled mustard beans, red onion, and lime. And it's just <laughs> Okay, and this is a cow soy. It's basically a creamy broth soup. And if you watch any of our vlogs, you will know this is one of our favorites. I don't think we can really put into words how delicious cow soy is. It is truly our favorite dish in the entire world. It is so good. It's creamy, it's spicy, it has lemongrass, it has ginger, it has so many different flavors. I've tried making it here at home. It just doesn't turn out as well as you can find it in Thailand. It is truly the best. And there you have it. Those are our five top things we think you should get in Thailand. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it inspires you to go to Thailand or seek out Thai food near you. You will not regret any of the options we've given you here in this video. We'll see you next time. We love food. We love eating food. You've seen us eat a lot of food over the years.